Why did the basketball go to school? Because it wanted to get a little b-ball education, just like the Dallas Mavericks after their recent game against the Los Angeles Clippers. Now that's not to say the Mavericks didn't put up a fight, but when the dust settled, the Clippers came out on top, 109 to 97. Now, if you're scratching your head and wondering how this happened without Kawhi Leonard on the court, you're not alone. But as it turns out, the Clippers have a secret weapon, and his name is James Harden. Harden led the team with 28 points, showing off a balanced defensive attack that even a seasoned pro like Kyrie Irving couldn't match. Speaking of seasoned pros, Luka Doncic put up a good fight, but without a solid support from his teammates it was like trying to use a basketball as a life raft. It might float, but it's not going to get you very far. Now let's talk about the Clippers' three-point shooting. They made 50% of their attempts, which is more than we can say for the Mavericks, who were shooting threes like they were playing darts in the dark, hitting only 30.3% of their shots. But the real star of the show? Ivica Zubak. With a breakout performance of 20 points and 15 rebounds, Zubak was rebounding like he was on a trampoline and scoring like he had a personal vendetta against the hoop. So what can we take away from this game? Well, first, Never underestimate a team just because they're missing a key player. Second, a balanced offensive attack can make up for a lot of shortcomings. Third, support from teammates is crucial, no matter how good your star player is. Fourth, practice those threes because they can make or break a game. And finally, never underestimate the power of a breakout performance. So, as we look forward to game two, it's clear the Mavericks have some homework to do. But then again, who doesn't love a good underdog story? After all, it's not over until the final buzzer sounds. And as we all know, in basketball, anything can happen. As we gear up for game two, let's look at what the Mavericks need to do. They'll need to patch up their defense, focusing on blocking those three-point shots. They also need to bolster their offensive strategies, especially in the absence of their star player. It's time for the Mavericks to harness the power of teamwork and a balanced offense. And remember, it's not always about the star player. Sometimes it's the underdogs who steal the show. The Mavericks shouldn't be disheartened. They have the potential for a breakout performance, just like their opponents did in Game 1. It's all about learning from your mistakes and coming back stronger. The beauty of basketball is that it's never over until that final buzzer sounds. So let's keep our eyes on the court and see what Game 2 has in store for us. Don't forget that in basketball, as in life, anything can happen. So let's sit back relax, and get ready to enjoy some more nail-biting action. And remember, this is just the beginning of the story. The real fun is in watching how it unfolds. And with that, we're looking forward to an exciting game too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos.